We've compiled a list of our 10 favorite personal care items, and we're gonna share those with you today. These products are in no particular order, but stay tuned until the end to see our favorite item and hear why Ben refused to buy it because he misunderstood how it was made. <laughs> Our first item is the Desert Essence Lemon Tea Tree Shampoo. We have tried quite a few shampoos from Azure Standard and this is above and beyond our favorite. It's a clarifying shampoo, gets you really clean, removes any excess oil, buildup, product, anything that you have in there, and it's also gentle enough to use daily. The Desert Essence Shampoo feels the most like a normal shampoo to me. I don't know how else to describe it other than it's actually gonna get sudsy. Now with some of these other shampoos that we've tried, I felt like I've had to put so much shampoo in my hand before I put it in my hair, just to try to get that sudsy feeling. Mm -hmm. And these shampoos are pretty expensive, so when I've done that, I've felt like money was just literally going down the drain. I have really thick hair and used to have to use a whole handful of shampoo to get suds, and this one doesn't even come close to that. And it smells very good. It smells like a real lemon. You're not gonna come out of the shower smelling like a bottle of pine salt. Yes. <laughs> Next is the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. Now I primarily use this in the shower as a body wash and Alex had to slowly chip away at what I thought was traditional body wash because I used to use the Old Spice stuff that was just full of fragrance and I thought that's what being clean was. Now I can't stand that smell. I can smell people that use that stuff when I pass them in public and when they come into my house and it no longer smells good to me. The Dr. Bronner's is great. I feel like I'm actually getting clean in the shower and not just rubbing perfume all over my body. The soap has many different uses too. I use it to make a hand soap for our family. You can also use it to clean your floors, your walls, your windows, anything you can think of, it will probably clean it. You can also get the Dr. Bronner's Castile soap at a lot of different grocery stores. We live really rural, so it's harder for us to do that. And we like to just go ahead and get it from Azure Standard because our morals and values align with the company. So we like to get what we can from them to support them. The next item on our list is a loofah bath sponge. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it and neither is Ben, but all of the links for everything in this video will be down below in the description. This bath sponge is made from all natural materials and it is a great exfoliator for your skin. We used to use the mesh plastic loofahs and after learning some more about them that those little plastic bits can fall out and get embedded in your skin. So once we found this bath sponge, we knew we had to give it a try. These loofahs from Azure Standard feel more masculine than a little puff ball that used to hang in the shower. I do like that the loofah has a handle on it that kind of slips over your fingers. I feel like I can actually get myself clean without dropping the sponge in the shower. Unlike the loofah that just has a weird string that kind of hangs there. And then they would unravel and... These loofahs will last for quite a while, but over time they will start to break down. I think our first set lasted five to six months before we actually needed to replace them. Yeah. The next item on our list is the Bubble and Bee Organics Lip Balm. It goes on really smooth, it's moisturizing, and lasts for a really long time. It also doesn't give you that feeling that traditional, regular lip balms, chapsticks give you. As soon as it wears off, you almost feel like your lips are drier and you need to reapply it. This one just, when it wears off, you don't even notice it, and your lips are still slightly moisturized and you're good to go. I don't use lip balm, but I kiss her from time to time and <laughs> her lips don't feel chapped to me. <laughs> Next is the Desert Essence Tea Tree Fluoride Free Toothpaste. Now, if you're looking for a fluoride free toothpaste, this is a great option. At our big box grocery stores, it's really hard to find a fluoride free toothpaste. And if you can even find an option, sometimes you're very limited. Some fluoride free toothpaste don't taste very well. I will say after using this for years now, if we go to somebody's house and all that they have is traditional toothpaste, we can't stand the taste of it anymore. Yeah. We feel like we're just putting a bunch of chemicals in our mouth and it's not good. Mm -mm. <laughs> now just like the all natural soaps and shampoos, all natural toothpaste doesn't suds up quite as much as your traditional toothpaste does, but you get used to it. We've tried many fluoride free toothpaste and Ben's not kidding, the flavor on some of them is just not desirable at all. So this is a really good option if you're interested in trying one out. There's so many more personal care products on Azure's website than what we have listed in this video. Leave a comment down below and let us know what your favorite one is that you've tried. Next is the Kettle Care Organics Leave-In Conditioner Spray. I will use this just straight out of the shower after shampooing my hair and not even using any conditioner rinse in the shower. 
It works really well to keep your ends moisturized, keep static down. I have naturally thick, straight hair and I only have to use a little bit at a time. The bottle's really small, but it lasts a very long time. It also has a nice scent to it and it works really well as a detangler too. I'll use it on our two-year-old's hair after she gets out of the tub. Now I have my own leave-in conditioner that I use. So I really like this Sunorama leave-in conditioner that is a coconut oil base. And this has become a replacement for any kind of gels, balms, paste that I used to use in my hair. And all that stuff just felt fake. It left a weird residue in my hair and I didn't like how it felt. Even though this stuff is curl enhancing, when my hair is short, it's relatively straight and it's just been a full replacement. It's what I have in my hair right now. And I feel like it actually holds my hair, but I can run my hand through it and move it around and it doesn't get a weird feeling or any of that dandruffy residue left over in it. And it smells really good too. It does. It does have mm -hmm. a nice scent to it without it being that overly yeah. perfumey smell. It's not overpowering at all. Now the volume of this coconut oil hair product is three to four times the size of these other name brand products that I had been buying in the past, and it is much cheaper. Now I don't put product in my hair every day. I probably only do it two to three times a week, and this has lasted me a full year. Wow. So I think it will probably last you anywhere from six months to a year, depending on how often you put it in your That's hair. That's crazy. I've switched to buying my feminine care products from Azure Standard also. They have all organic, cotton, safe products, toxin-free, no strange, weird chemicals that you would want up against your body in any way, shape, or form. Definitely check out what they have. I like the NatraCare brand. They have all different kinds of options on their website, and we'll have some link down below in the description. And we started buying from Azure Standard because we were focused on what we were putting into our bodies but we've since branched out and that also now applies to what we put onto our bodies. Yep. So speaking of putting things on your body, next is another Desert Essence product and it is their body lotion. It is their unscented body lotion and we both really like it. It's not greasy, but still moisturizing. It absorbs really fast so you don't feel like you can't open doorknobs and other things right after you put it on. And it is the first fragrance-free unscented lotion that I've ever used that is as close to really being fragrance free. It does have a smell. I don't think I've ever used anything that was labeled as fragrance free that didn't have some type of odor to it. Yeah. But just like Alex said, the smell that it does have is very subtle and it is pleasant. Mm -hmm. So our favorite personal care product from Azure Standard that we buy almost monthly that Ben said a hard no to at first is the natural value bath tissue. Now the reason that I said <laughs> no to this was because when Alex showed me the packaging, right on there, it says 100% recycled toilet paper, which I thought to mean it's recycled toilet paper, as in used toilet paper. Now my wife has sent us down many weird all natural journeys, and I thought mm -hmm. this was more of the natural progression of the next weird thing that she was going to do <laughs> no. for us. And I said, I'm drawing the line here. I'm all for helping out the environment, but I'm not quite ready to use somebody else's used <laughs> TP that's probably been laundered, but I'm not gonna put that on my body. I've come to find out that the meaning of 100% recycled bathroom tissue means that it's made from recycled products, not literally recycled <laughs> bathroom tissue. He even told one of our friends, she's got me buying recycled toilet paper. <laughs> now, I will say, I didn't learn that it was not recycled bathroom tissue until after we had already bought yeah. it and started using it. I caved and thought, okay, I'll do a nice thing for my wife and just trust her. It's probably been cleaned. So I was quite relieved to find out that that's not what it is. How would they clean it? <laughs> I, I don't know how they do these things. I, soap, Dr. Bronner's Castile okay. soap. So yes, I, I told a friend that we had been using the recycled toilet paper. So I'm, I'm sorry, Azure, if you're watching this, I probably lost you a sale and Alex made me go back to him and explain what I, I actually did. meant. I did. I didn't want to think we were using recycled, literally recycled toilet paper. So other than my misunderstanding oh of the product, you know, why do we like it? <laughs> it's so convenient to just add it to our monthly Azure standard order. Toilet paper is something pretty much everybody needs. 
add it onto the order, comes once a month. You never have to worry about running out, running to the store to get some, it's just always there. One pack comes with 12 rolls and then they also have a deal where you can save a little bit more money where you can get two packs at once. Now for an all natural toilet paper, it does a pretty good job. It's a lot better than anything you would find in a public restroom that's oh, the single yes. ply stuff. Yeah. So you're not taking a significant step down. I mean, no. it's, it's still gonna get the job done. Yeah. And as far as price, I feel like it's pretty close to what we'd get at a grocery store yep. anyway. And at least this stuff is unbleached and recycled. Yeah, but not literally recycled toilet paper. No, it's recycled material, not recycled <laughs> toilet paper. The marketing department might want to update their packaging because I can't believe that I'm the only one who would have thought that. I didn't think that I knew what it meant. Maybe you were the only one. It scared me. It... Let us know down below if you would also think that by reading it. If you're brand new to Azure Standard, there is a referral link in the description for this video. Be sure to check out one of our other top 10 Azure Standard product videos. And in the meantime, remember to live free and find your purpose.